So here's, here's the truth. Here's the raw reality and how I actually made my first $3,000 online. It's probably a very different story than what most you know gurus or people on the internet tell you about how they made their first couple thousand bucks. Simple, most people say, oh, you know, I, I drop shipped. I, I did affiliate marketing. I uh, started an agency and all of a sudden I was at 10K in a month. But that wasn't, that wasn't the case for me. As a matter of fact, I tried business for years and I didn't make any money at all. I tried drop shipping. I lost thousands of dollars. I tried the affiliate marketing thing. I tried to start an agency. And man, I, you you name it, I probably tried it. I tried to sell lemonade. I tried to do eBay, you know, online. I tried to sell stuff. I tried to, you know, buy reused hockey carts. Man, you name it, I tried it. And none of that stuff worked. And I, and I asked myself, like, why, why does it work for all these other people, but it doesn't work for me? And that's because they're not really telling you the truth. Or so, well, maybe they're telling you the truth, but just not fully. They're telling you the partial truth. And so the way that I actually made my first three $3,000 online as well, it's quite underwhelming. It's quite simple actually, yet it's so simple that I think even you could do it. Yes, that shy, young, nervous, unconfident kid from maybe a second or third world country who doesn't think they can make money online but still tries it. Does that sound like you? Not well, not quite my story, but very similar, okay? So here's what I did. I realized that businesses are built off the foundation of providing goods and or services to somebody else in exchange for money. Simple as that. And typically those goods or services are to solve a problem. Not always, but mostly to solve a problem. Okay, but keyword is not always. And so I asked myself, what skills do I have that I can provide to the market in hopes that I could get paid? Because I wanted to make money. Rightfully so. As a young kid, I just wanted to go out there and, and buy cool stuff, right? And I looked around at my desk and, and stuff around me and I said, well, I'm, I'm kind of good at hockey. I'm pretty good at volleyball, but I mean, I can't give that to people. I'm not going to be a professional athlete. Um, I can play Fortnite okay. I, can't, I probably can't make any money. I actually made a couple thousand bucks doing that funny story. That's a story for a different day. And then I asked myself, I was like, what else can I do? I was like, well, I can, I can edit videos. Okay, I mean, I, I can edit videos. And I was like, okay, well... I can edit videos. Do people need their videos edited? I was like, well, I think so. And so I tried. I asked people, hey, do you want me to edit your videos? I literally said that word for word. Hey, do you want me to edit your videos? I just went up to people who were already making videos. I said, hey, do you want me to edit your videos for you? And for those who weren't making videos, I said, hey, can I edit your videos for you? Surprisingly, <laughs> after such a simple message and no offer, no crazy business name, no, no logo, no nothing, just a genuine question to people, people said, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I tried all these different businesses. I, I you know, had domains. I, I spent money on ads, and, and I made no money. And then I simply asked people a question, and they say, yeah. Anyway, so I was, I was kind of you know, overwhelmed. I was like, man, this is incredible. I started working for these people initially for free, and after some time, I started to get paid. As a matter of fact, I started to get referred to. People were starting to refer me to other people, and the people I initially worked for free for were now paying me money. And that's when I realized a very, very, very important lesson. Is you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You don't got to do what everyone else is doing. You don't got to do the fancy things. As a matter of fact, simple scales, fancy fails. And more often than not, doing the basic things is what actually can get you the results. And the reason why you want to do the advanced things is because they sound prettier. It sounds sexier, right? It sounds a lot better to do a 360 slam dunk than it does to do a normal basic layup. But basic layups win the game. 360 slam dunks only look cool in the all-star competition. So ask yourself, are you somebody who wants to just shine one night or have an everlasting legacy? Was Kobe necessarily the flashiest player? He was good. He had some good moves. But was he the flashiest? Was Michael Jordan the flashiest? Was he? Not really. What were they good at though? The fundamentals, the basics. They understood the fundamental components of their craft. You see, most people don't understand the fundamental component of their business, of what they're doing. And so I went to the basics. I said, hey, let me just offer something I'm already good at to people and see if they want it. And sure enough, they did. And that's how I made my first $3,000 online, is taking something I already knew, taking something I was already good at, and just offering it to people, asking them if, hey, this could be beneficial for them. And turns out, funny enough, my skill was beneficial to them. And as I got more and more and more clients, I got more experience, I got better at what I did. And when I got better, people wanted to pay me more. Business doesn't have to be so complex. As a matter of fact, business isn't complex. It's simple, not easy. Scaling a business, making money online is quite simple. 
if you think about it fundamentally, there's not too many complex parts. Get something you think will help people, offer it to those people, do it for them. Pretty simple, but it's not easy because you're going to get told no a thousand times before the thousandth and one person will say yes. And that's why business is simple, but not easy. And that's why I made my first $3,000 online is taking something I already knew, taking something I was already good at, and just asking people if they wanted it. And despite the fact that not many people will tell you that, and most people will just brush this video off as another video, if you can understand the core concept, the core lesson of this video, which may be different for all of you, I can assure you that business will become a lo little bit easier. A little bit easier. Because a lot of people overcomplicate business to be something a lot scarier than it actually is. When in reality... Business is simple, not easy. If you want to join my free school community, hop on calls with me, ask me questions, link down below. Or if you want to start your own school community, you can also do a link down below and get free Q&A calls with Alex Hermosi, the man, the myth, the legend. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.